The Wait a minute. Of... Netflix just announced a Dragon Age Absolution TV series released in December. Oh, nice. Nice, Cassie B. That'll be another uh, another TV show for my backlog. Yes, no sheer Dalal. I, I'm almost positive that that guy right there, this guy, is uh, that voice actor. I love him. I have opened the gates. It is him? Oh, nice. Kotalo is his name? Okay. Well, this guy does not seem sure of himself anymore. As the sun rises over a land at war, so too can it set over a land at peace. Today is such... Marshals, you who claim to be Tanakh. Uh oh. Regala, Chief Akaro's biggest mistake. A rival whom he should have killed. <laughs> I'll do it. You have forgotten that our people were born in blood. The blood of the Karja. Instead, you pledge your spears to a chief who conspires with the enemy. She looks badass, though. Hikaru has betrayed us. The embassy is proof, and all of you marshals are his accomplices. For this, I condemn you to death. You'll need more than toothless threats to intimidate us, exile. Oh. Oh. They have dinosaurs. Dinobots, attack. Lancers, pull him up. Damn, they be learning Aloy tricks. They're riding machines. Where'd they learn to do that? Silence. Silence? Vashav, come with us now, or not at all. Archers, light them up. Ooh. Oh, that guy had a cool helmet. Hey, look, we can head west now. No. They're firing on their own people. Keep them back. Oh no. Oh. That flank to the Kaja. Run them down. Let's go. They're not going to make it. <laughs> Oh my god, we gotta get over there. Open the gates! Open the gates! This guy's Open useless. And there goes Studious Valdis. Kaja! Stand your ground! I like how he took over again <laughs> as Karja. <laughs> I don't have a shot. Shoot anyway. Oh no. Nice. What happened? Can you see? They all got slaughtered. Just, just hey! Come down and fight fair! 
Lancers! Take the center! Get ready! I got Eloy's leading the Tanakh. Merchandise and merchandise and space balls the t-shirt. <laughs> Dwarf Floof, thank you so much for uh, buying a Nom Nom emote shirt. <laughs> thank you very, very much. I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> Stick to cover. Archers on the ridge. Okay. Let's kill the rebels. Where's my sharp shot? Here they come! They're right to us. Ah. Hey, look, loot! Hit her again! I gotta set it on a better spot. Oh, knock that guy right off. Hey, 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 hey! Let me get the right thing on. Um. 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 <laughs> Can I get back to the battle, please? <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I'll knock them all off. Can I not? Oh, I can't take that over. I forget myself. Hi, Barl. How we doing? There's this one guy over here with like one health. Cut them all down. No. Hey. Okay. I get it. You guys are awesome. Ammo's out. Here it comes. How'd you like them apples? Huh? That way, you think? I got one call. You won't get away with that. No. Holy crap, there's a lot going on here. On that rider. Are they dead? Back off them. Huh? Kablammy. We need fire arrows, maybe. Oh, that's a spear. I like it. Oh, that was awesome. How do you like them apples? Oh no! Bring her down. You're not bringing nothing down. Enough. 
These folks look awesome. You, Outlanders, I'll skin you both. Chief, grant me the honor of this challenge. Okay. Granted. One on one. Oh, that's a nifty little bit of uh, technology. Carl, get back. I like how Eloy's letting him do that. You're next, girl. I've never seen a sh Okay, so... One thing is, I unlock all these skills, and then I don't remember in the throes of combat how to do any of them. Um, what did I unlock here? We unlocked fire three arrows of your currently selected type in a quick burst. That's L2 R1. And then for a special fire, a special arrow that attaches to an enemy. So L2 R1, and this is also L2 R1. Feels like that. Better scan it. I gotta scan him. I can break through his shield if I damage it enough. Okay, what is this guy? Scanned. Does it not show? Doesn't show this guy's stuff? How do I see his stuff? Okay, better. I gotta get through that shield. Ah, here's the weapon technique. I've got no ammo. Give it up. All right, how do I scan this dude? There, now's my chance. Out of stamina. Kablamo! Hey, we get to see what you got. You look a lot, less, a lot less impressive without your armor. You're not stopping me! How'd you like that? Big spear. Right next. No, oh, shield's gone. He's vulnerable. I got no ammo. Uh, how about this? No. You like you like acid? Acid crush? <laughs> I've got to break that shield. I'm out of stamina. That is terrible. Need to break his guard. There, he's exposed. There we go. Nice. Search him. Ah, that was tough. Ooh. Your turn. Come down here and face me. No. <laughs> no. It was an honorable challenge. You've earned your life today. Comrades. Mark this day. Today you have decimated the marshals, slaughtered the Karja, and so lost to Aloy. War, ah! Move out. Ah! 
She's afraid. She's afraid. Yeah, let's get this thing off of them. Get him to the camp. Now. You gonna make it? You're going on without me, aren't you? Oh, yeah. Guess I'm stuck with Aaron. <laughs> For now. Come on. I'll take you back to the fort. You think she's afraid or did Silence say not to hurt Aloy? Afraid. Shouldn't seem like the type that would honor don't hurt Aloy. I got you. They're leaving. It's salvage time, boys. Hey, I didn't get to loot any of that. You enjoy the story so much more when you play? <laughs> Why is that? <laughs> hey, Electric Messiah, what's going on? Yeah, let's let's learn from their technology here. Ooh. I don't think it can take a hit. I should be able to use it to glide. That's awesome. Way to get it fixed up. Aloy. We're still trying to sort out this mess. Seems like the Tanakh have a civil war in their hands. That sounds about right. The marshals weren't expecting Regala to attack. And the entire Karja delegation was slain. Nozar, Vwadis, Peshav, a massacre. Wow, that sucks. What will you do now? I have to head west. Hopefully this rite of passage is still good. For what I'm after, I'll cross all of Tanakh's territory if I have to. Then you have a long road ahead of you. This is only the threshold of the Forbidden West. The Tanakh's true domain lies over the mountains that border Plainsong. Home of the Utaru tribe. This isn't Tanakh's territory? All that out there? That's no man's land. It was supposed to be neutral ground, though obviously this Regala ignored that. Her rebels approached from the north with all those machines they were riding. They must have made camp up that way. Okay. The rebels were riding bristlebacks. And there were bristlebacks in the Daunt. Are you saying the rebels let them into the Daunt? How would that even be possible? Through the mine. I don't know. But it's worth looking into. While you're at it, there were a number of Karja and Asuram who went out there before the gates were shut for the embassy. Maybe you could check in on them. See if they're all right. They were what allowed west and not me. Is there a tall neck somewhere nearby? A tall neck? There's that one over there near the Utara border. But why? It's, uh, it's hard to explain. It'll help me get the lay of the land. If you say so. Is there anything else I can tell you before you go? When's your birthday? All right, I can catch up with chat a little bit. Um, you can just relax and read the book when I'm playing. Okay, got it. I understand that. And what Underdark is saying, I, I love rewatching what I've played because I can see more things. That happened to me all the time in Elden Ring when I was taking notes for Elden Ring. I would, I, or I was watching Azaria play it after me. I was able to. Uh, absorb things that in the heat of the moment I couldn't. Electric Messiah was ju uh, just came back from Cuba. Glad to be home. Welcome. Why not take that shield while you're out? I know that shield was cool. You know, it was confusing during the middle of the combat. I scanned him, but then I couldn't find the information I needed after I scanned him. The Daunt and No Man's Land are modeled after Southern Utah into Nevada. Oh, cool. All right. We got a lot of 
a lot of stuff here. So Fashav is dead. We, we learned about this super cool character who's going to bridge peace, broker peace between the Karja and the Tanakh. And then they killed him after we heard his really long story. About Fashav. <sighs> the man was taken captive by the Tanakh. Survived for years out in the West, only to die just short of the Sundom. It's a cruel end for a good soldier. There was more he wanted to do. He spoke of advocating for lasting peace between the Karja and Tanakh. Too late for that now. What will happen to him? His body will be carried back to Meridian. As a cousin of the Sun King, he will be accorded official rights and buried with honor. No soldier could ask for more. They could ask to be alive a little longer. Um, I guess this game was just to let you know to break the shield, but I didn't know how to break the shield. I guess I just had to keep hitting it, you know? Sorian says, feels like wasting a potentially very interesting character, doesn't it? Yeah. No, it does. It does, because now, now he feels just like a plot device, you know? It's too bad about Nazar and Fwadis. At least Nozar went down fighting. As for the Sun Priest... Shot in the well, back. No one deserves to go out that way. I'll make sure they're given proper funeral rites. It's the least I can do. And now he's in charge. Do you think the Karja will take action against Regala? Seems like you'd have common ground with the Tanakh. An expedition of the Karja army into the west could be taken as the start of another invasion. Sun King Avad won't risk it. That said, we can't allow ourselves to be caught unaware by an attack like that again. Fashav called Regala a rival. Someone that's knocked the chief should have killed. <laughs> yeah, I reckon he should have. She's obviously a huge threat. Her attack was coordinated and precise. Until you got in her way, that is. They knew the lay of the land. And they knew Fashav was going to be handed over at the embassy. If the Tanakh weren't expecting her, she must have spent months gathering an army in secret. They had to have made camp nearby. Somewhere they could lie low until the perfect moment to strike. Oh boy. You said the Tanakh lands are far to the west. What can I expect to find between here and there? Well, as I mentioned, you've got a stretch of wilderness known as No Man's Land, and then New Taru Farmlands. Past that are the Tanakh. Their territory is split into three clans. Desert, Lowland, and Sky. Right. I saw their banners at the embassy. The Desert Clan is closest. Ooh, vicious lot. Where everyone else sees an inhospitable wasteland, they see a challenge to dominate. Somewhere beyond the desert, is the tribe's capital and the territories of the other two clans. You don't sound certain. I've only heard the stories. During the Red Raids, the Karja army tried to push into Tanakh territory, but the United Clans rose up against them, forced them all the way back to the Dot. So no one except the Tanakh really know what's beyond the desert. <laughs> Maybe the scholars do, back in Meridian. All those scrolls have to be filled with something, right? You said there were others who went out when the gates were open before. Like who? Well, Bob. in addition to the salvagers that just went through, there were a couple of other parties of Asarum Delvers. Even saw two Karja scholars trekking southwest with an Asarum crew. Not sure if they're exceptionally brave or just foolhardy. Or both. This area is no man's land. That it is. The Tanakh used to attack anyone past Baron Light on sight, but after Avad overthrew the Mad Sun King, he reached out to the other tribes to offer reconciliation. The Tanakh agreed to a neutral border zone as part of the peace talks. Karja and Asaram have been striking out into the area ever since. But now, it seems like Regala and her rebel army have moved in. <laughs> well, I'd never call No Man's Land safe, even in the best of times. The ancient ruins of the Southwest are a testament to that. Remnants Ancient ruins? You don't war. say. All right, last one, gang. You mentioned the Utaru tribe. Their lands are between here and the Tanakh further west? That's right. Plainsong is their home. They're a peaceful bunch, at least compared to the Tanakh. 
more taken to farming than fighting. It's hard to imagine a bunch of farmers surviving in the Forbidden West. Make no mistake, they have a fierceness all their own. When the Karja were pushed back during the Red Raids, their warriors chased ours through the burning fields of Plainsong. The Sun King has made several overtures of peace to them as well, but so far, they've declined. If they're so peaceful, why decline? Don't know. I heard they have their own troubles to deal with. Something about a food shortage. It's something about I think starving. Make them open to trade, but no, they just want to be left alone. Okay, interesting. All right. I need to be on my way. Then I wish you luck. The gates will always be open to you should you wish to return. And don't worry about your friends. We'll get them patched up. Bye! I appreciate it. Sun, watch over you, Aloy. I hope you find what you're looking for. She's not gonna go and like check in on them? All right, we got a trophy and we got skill points. All right, um, what do we get here? I need three for toughened Valor Search. Consume a special potion to restore. Okay, so maybe we get that? So we have multiple um, Valor Surges. Which one was this? Is that what I just got? Medicine capacity? No, it. Not enough skill. What did I get? I just got this. All right, so maybe I didn't have everything on the way. All right. Level 11 reached. All right, so they were just standing there. We just looked back at them. But where did that all happen? The shield wing is an energy-based glider repurposed from machine technology. Hold square while in the air to deploy and glide. O to stop gliding. Square. Okay. So, this is the Forbidden West. A whole new frontier to explore. The coordinates from the spire should lead to silence in Hades. And just maybe, a backup of Gaia. It won't be easy out there. The blight, the storms, Regala's machine riders. But I'll have to push through it all. Okay. Find a way. You can to talk fix to me in a second. World. Oh, no, no, no. Don't worry about it. Like Elizabeth would. All right. I need that tall neck first. That's just going to give us the map. Yeah, it's right here. It's, it's in the Cinnabar Sands. Doesn't that sound delicious? It does. Cinnabar Sands. Ugh. <laughs> is that the roofer or no? Yeah, it is. Yeah. Okay. Are they going up there? Machines under our command. There's only one other person who has that kind of knowledge. Silence. Silence. Is that, uh, was it Vasari or somebody no, else? No, no, it's one of his workers. Why help to knock the rebels? He was one of the fellows that was here when they did the roof. Okay. All right, so I guess we're technically out of the tutorial now, huh? Better fill up I can. Maybe. That was a crazy battle. I had no idea what was going on for most of that battle. I just like shooting people off of the mounts. That was my favorite part. Okay. Oh, I have not killed a fox. Oh, that is not the right weapon. 
Good spot to test the shield wing. Oh. I climb down when I can glide. Oh, yeah, I want to glide, but I wanted to kill the fox. Where the hell did he go? Oh. You little jerk. Wait, is this the one? Which which fox was you? There we go. I'll put these in my pack. Put him in my pack. Put him in my pack. Put him in my pack. Do you have to shoot fish in this game too? Yeah, there's fish too. Oh, this has some legendary part. I can grab this from my stash later. You had to shoot fish in the first one. I know. That's why I was asking about the uh, whether or not that continues in this one. Sure is a lot of loot after that battle. Okay, there's a fly buzzing around my head, driving me insane. Driving me insane. Welcome to the stream, everybody. If you're just tuning in, we're in the middle of a bogathon where I can potentially stream up to 12 hours today. We have been streaming for three and a half now. We still have four, about four, uh, no, we've been streaming for four. We have three and a half hours on the clock. Let's do a manual save. Let's do a second manual save. Be spicy. And we can fast travel for free. All right, so where the hell are we? We have more yellow loot over here too. Lucky Forty three. Sir TM, the tier two resub. Thank you so much. Thanks for adding time to the stream and resubbing. Hope you're having fun today. I can't believe how much loot they're giving me. All right, enough. I don't want any more loot. That's a lie. What a lie. It's more legendary stuff. I got a piercing spike. <laughs> Quote it. That is a huge fly. What's up, Moogles? Phil, it's your birthday today? Happy birthday. I hope you have an amazing day. Happy birthday. What kind of cake are you going to have? Let's give out 10 clams for uh, Phil's birthday today, if we can, please. Okay, way too much loot. Thanks, 8-Bit. All right, let's, let's check in with our friends before we move on. Let's see what they have to say. Oh, there's a lot of people, like... This whole place has changed. Finally! Whole place has changed. Hope to catch you soon. Yeah, you. I don't want loot, says the person that searched every jar in every corner in Elden Ring. Well, you know that was just there was that was a lot. That was a lot of looting. Just the thing. Do you have new? You have new outfits that I haven't seen. No. Oh, the rare Nora Sentinel. 
don't have enough for that. So. I am always. And you have coils and weaves. These will just get as we progress. Sure. To trade. I need Azari to come kill a fly. Strange Shay, uh, mentioning birthday cake makes me miss the cake your wife made for your birthday last month. What was it? What kind of cake was it? Oh, you have to work 12 hours on your birthday, Phil? That sucks. You're doing that all week because if someone had a family emergency, well, you're a good person. My wares are here for your perusal. Small health potions. And you can buy some resources, too. Fox hide. Yeah, I don't remember which ones I need to Must make any improvements. Oh, it was a strawberry rose cake. Okay, nice. Rose like the wine of the flower. Got it. Um... Yeah, I don't think I've had a cake like that. This is pretty over here. All right, so was that the... Yeah, that was the question mark up there. Um... Let's head back down this errand. Down here somewhere? That's the cookery. Let's play some machine strike. Dude, people just got murdered. Okay? Just chill. I know you're excited about your, your little board game there. stock all categories all right now I can probably afford the rope caster all right I don't have a rope caster just in case we need one to equip it to sharp shot I like for long range I like the warrior bow for close range I don't think I need fire and hunter bows though Put it over there. So many thanks. Come back anytime. Rope casters are ideal for tying machines down. Yeah, we need that for the flappers. Tap R2 while aiming to fire a rope. Attach enough ropes to bring the machine down. Yes. I'm not gonna actually invest in upgrading this one though. Not right away at least. Alright, so for the pouches. Peckery it is bones. a gift. A gift to the friends of the otters. Mikata, thank you so much for gifting a sub. To Soul Kryptonian. Thank you so, so much. That adds time to the stream. All support adds time to the stream today. New subs, resubs, gifted subs, tips, bits, Patreon support, all of that. Yeah. You keep freaking out when Bog Otter stays in the sun. I may be playing V Rising too much. Yeah, we were playing it last night. The sun still is driving me crazy in that game. Uh, okay, so we can do extra trip wires, precision arrow quiver. Yeah, let's do that. That's what that fox bone gave us. Oh, and another fox bone. I need horned lizards too. All with due time. Okay. Hey, may I interrupt you for a second? Sure. I need you to mute it. Oh. Okay. You see that big fly? Yeah. Okay, you handle that and I will mute it for you. She missed. If you like, you can make the sun hotter in V Rising? No. Can you make it so that it's uh, less hot? and less often.